Masculine, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Thank you for checking out the video. Uh, first off, I want to thank all of my old subscribers, my day one foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. So this is just a general energy check-in for the Aries Divine Masculine. This is just um, what's going on in the energy surrounding them or the energy within them, along with invaluable guidance from Spirit, of course. So with that being said, I am going to jump right in. Remember, this is just a general energy check-in. It may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, I encourage you to book me for a personal reading, or you could always just click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. It's all about divine timing, as you are divine masculine. Okay, so we have here, third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, nine of coins in reverse, seven of water, three of wands, and faith. Okay, Divine Masculine, you are starting to You had uh, self-esteem issues. You had issues of self-worth. You never felt like you were good enough. Mm -hmm. Some of you divine masculine, you were really undervaluing yourself. Some of you worked at jobs where you were overqualified, but you took, you were underpaid. Some of you have businesses, but you don't charge enough. Mm -hmm. And you're starting to realize that. You're starting to value yourself, know your worth. Because you, you have really good business acumen. So you guys are good in business. You guys are good workers. Whatever you're doing, you're good at it. So spirit wants you to like value yourself, charge your worth, know your worth. Mm -hmm. And let others know that too. Because this stems from childhood. Mm -hmm. Some of you divine masculines, you... I'm seeing like a five-year-old, like five to seven. You never felt good enough. You never felt like you were worth much. Okay, some of you divine masculines, you grew up in like foster homes or you were adopted. And um, you, were, you were passed around a lot. So you moved from home to home, you know, and this made you feel like, you weren't good enough to love or you weren't good enough to, to keep and look after or, or you weren't of value because you felt like no one wanted to keep you. No one valued you. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing no one. It's just it's a, a belonging. Like you felt like you never belonged anywhere. Spirit also said you're a star seed. So you were, you were never going to feel um, completely at home on this planet mm -hmm. because this is not your, this is not your home. Spirit said you're just passing through. You're here to do something. Mm -hmm. And when you're done, you go home. If you so choose. Hmm. Okay. But you are learning how to trust spirit. You're learning how to trust the processes of the universe. You're learning how to trust yourself, divine masculine. Mm -hmm. Some of you have really been working on your self-esteem, self-worth issues. Mm -hmm. Because you're starting to realize, especially now during pandemic, you're starting to realize that you deserve more. I'm hearing settling. A lot of you, some of you, Spirit said some of you were really settling for nothing. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Like... And that's why you you were pretty much living what hand to mouth, paycheck to paycheck, because you were not demanding your worth. Mm -hmm. You weren't even letting people know that you were aware of your worth. Mm -hmm. Some of you, um, I'm seeing a divine masculine in an uh, interview. They're being interviewed, and the boss or the person who's hiring, they're lowballing you, right? Because the company's trying to save money. 
but they know that you are overqualified for the position. So instead of even starting at offering you a starting, a proper starting salary, they're trying to lowball you and you accepted it because you're thinking, you're thinking from a, a place of lack, like, well, this is the best I'm going to get. And it's better than nothing. Spirit said, no, <clears throat> It's not better than nothing. It might as well be nothing because you can't really live off of that. Mm -hmm. You still have nothing. You have nothing to show for your hard work. You have nothing to show for your effort, energy, time. Mm -hmm. Your intelligence and skills that you are using to build up these people's empires, their businesses, their companies. Yeah. So you are starting to release this this way of thinking, this way of feeling, Divine Masculine. Mm -hmm. It's not like a, it's kind of like a woe is me. Mm -hmm. But you're really starting to, to build up your faith and trust. Trust that the universe has your back. Trust that the universe is going to take care of you and lead you in the right direction. You're starting to trust yourself too and your own intuition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you are starting to really trust yourself or, or allow your intuition to guide you in terms of business, finances, money, negotiations, you know, um, who to work with, who not to work with, where to work, where not to work. Yeah. So guidance we have from spirit, divine masculine, is deceit in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. Seven of earth. Queen of coins. And journey in reverse. Okay. So guidance from spirit. Aries, spirit wants you to see the truth of things and be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to look at the way how you were dealing with your person mm -hmm. and see the truth of, apparently the truth of the matter was that you did not deal with your person very well. Mm -hmm. And it's because of things that happened in your past. Mm -hmm. So it's like you were reliving your past with your person because whatever happened to you in your past, Divine Masculine, you did not heal from, you did not release, mm -hmm. you did not let go of. Mm -hmm. And you you pretty much recreated the same experience with your person. Mm -hmm. So if someone, someone hurt you in the past or, or played you, cheated on you, stole from you, lied to you, that's what you recreated with your person. Mm -hmm. So that's what you did with your person. That's what you did to your person. Mm -hmm. You also, you didn't trust your person because of things that happened to you in your past with other people. People that were fake. People that were using you. People that weren't loyal. So you always had your guard up with your person. Like It's kind of like you were expecting them to do something wrong. You are expecting your person to mess up. Ugh. Don't shoot the messenger, divine masculine, but you came off as an asshole to your person. I'm just hearing asshole, right? I just, just mean. It's not asshole. I'm just putting that word, but it's, it's mean. Like I can feel an energy of just, just being mean. Not, not all that nice. You weren't a nice guy to your person. And it's because you were being so guarded. Mm -hmm. But you were guarded against the wrong person. Mm -hmm. It's like you made your person the scapegoat for all the things that other people did to you. Mm -hmm. Spirit said your person did not deserve that. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to let go of the things that happened to you in the past and heal from them, right? Spirit wants you to go within Divine Masculine. 
go within and heal connect with yourself connect with source mm -hmm. so that you can connect with others better so that you can connect with your person mm -hmm. you have to go within and realize your wrongs mm -hmm. and be real with yourself you're gonna have to accept and and acknowledge that you did not treat your person all that well mm -hmm. and it's because of it's like um i'm I, my thoughts feel cloudy right so it's like you ever have the you get triggered and you have those flashbacks of some like your person may do something or say something and it triggers you to, to something that happened way back when mm-hmm so you automatically get super defensive on your person and flip out on them or or you don't talk to them for a few days and and your person is just there like what what did I say what did I do so your person was your scapegoat for other people's wrongs. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to stop that now. Heal what you need to heal within you. Mm -hmm. Release those memories, those memories that are not serving you anymore. You know, those memories of people that backstabbed you, that lied to you. You need to release those. You need to heal from them and release them now. So you're not, you're not in a perpetual state of recreating the same experience with your person. Your person is kind of like an innocent bystander that doesn't even realize what's going on. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a scene right now where, um, where someone, this is specifically for somebody, Divine Masculine, your person must have put some kind of butter or something on popcorn and you freaked on them. And you were just like, you know, you know I'm allergic to butter or I, you're allergic to something. And you made it seem like your person was trying to kill you because of something that someone else did in the past. Mm -hmm. And your person was absolutely heartbroken mm -hmm. because you went in on them. And it's like you kind of... What is it? It's like you lost yourself for a minute. You know, you, you were fully triggered into a traumatic experience and then you just left, right? Divine masculine left and the full defense fight or flight mode came in and you went at your person and they were just like, really? Like I didn't, I didn't know that. This broke your person's heart. The way how you spoke to them, the way how you dealt with them. Spirit said it's time to put an end to that way of being. Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep reliving the past? You're not going to make any progress. You're not going to move forward. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing you're on the cusp of moving forward. You just need to deal with these inner, inner trauma, inner healing. Mm -hmm. It's all inner, within. Things with that you need to release within. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because you're at the cusp of a new cycle. It wants to come in for you, but you need to release the past. Like 100% you need to release the past, Divine Masculine. Mm -hmm. Spirit said you can't keep dealing with your person like this, or you won't have a person to deal with. Mm-hmm. Nobody deserves that, to be treated like that, especially not your person. And you, Divine Masculine, you're... Spirit wants you to be honest, brutally honest with yourself of how you were dealing with your person. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm seeing a Divine Masculine who's thinking and you're kind of like wincing to yourself like, ah, fuck, I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have said that to her. Ah, fuck. I shouldn't have smashed her phone because I thought she was cheating on me. You know, like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you have some healing to do, Divine Masculine. It's okay. We all do. Twin Flame Journey, self-love, healing, freedom. <laughs> Three main themes. Three main themes. So Spirit wants you to go within, Divine Masculine, Connect with yourself so that you can be honest with your behavior. Mm -hmm. 
honest with things that you really genuinely, sincerely need to release because it's time. Mm -hmm. You have a new beginning that wants to come in. You're on the cusp of a new beginning. So it's right there. You just need to release the negativity so that you can step into the light, step into positivity mm -hmm. so that you can allow it in so that you can hold that frequency. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to let go of things that are no longer serving you, specifically these memories uh, that are triggering you. Mm -hmm. It's like when your person that that if your person triggers you, you don't even see your person. You just see, you see the perpetrator from the past, right? So if it was like an ex that cheated on you, if you get in your head that your person's cheating on you, you start searching their phone and stuff. And, you don't even see your person when you're accusing them. You see the ex from the past. Mm -hmm. Those things need to be healed now. They will hold you back. Mm -hmm. Okay, Divine Masculine. Spirit's telling me to wrap this up. So this is what I have for you. Hmm. If this reading resonates with you, can I get a thumbs up? If not, that's okay. There is a link in the beginning of my description box that takes you to my Etsy shop where you can book a personal reading. Or you, like I said, you can always just uh, click the notification button and you will be notified if there is a message for you. You know, you never know. Spirit may have a message for you at some point in time in the future. So with that being said, Divine Masculine, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.